I may be a little too excited about this. It came with a hat. I'm pretty sure that I knew that, but because of the time that it took to wait for shipping, I completely forgot. It came with a mesh hat. <laughs> I'm so excited. So the flow hive arrived today. I am going to film a, a quick unboxing video so you guys can see what it looks like when it is shipped to your door and uh, what the pieces, how many pieces there are. Clearly, it's not put together. It's something I'm going to have to do myself, but that's okay. I don't mind putting things together. Um, and afterwards, I will show you guys what it looks like, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to move the bees in soon. Here we go. Okay. So as you can see, nothing is put together. It's something I'm going to have to do myself. Um, and that's totally fine. I am used to family members handing over things for me to put together. <laughs> it's, it's not a big deal for me. Um, I ordered, I want to let you know what I ordered um, in case you are wondering uh, which ones because they have several different models. But the one that I ordered is the Hybrid Hive that only has three flow frames on the inside and uh, two regular frames on the outside of those three flow frames so you can get cut comb uh, with honey as well as liquid honey poured straight from the hive. Uh, and I did want the option of both and bonus, it was cheaper than any other flow hive that they have on their website. So I was totally okay with that. Uh, let's move on and put this baby together. Okay, straight away on the inside, as soon as you take off the top cover and the queen excluder, which is the little grid uh, piece of plastic on the right-hand side, um, it keeps the queen from leaving the brood box so she can't lay eggs in the honey that you're going to harvest. Um, right under those two items is the instructions on how to put everything together. And then this is the bottom board, which I'm actually excited about because my other hive doesn't have a screen bottom board like this. Um, and what this does, are you excited? Yes, you are. <laughs> The screen bottom board here allows for extra ventilation to come up from the um, bottom side of the hive, uh, which is really helpful in the summertime. But you can also pull out this white board here. And what happens is the hive beetles or any varroa mite or pests that you might find uh, inside of your hive will fall through this mesh. Um, when the bees find them and push them through the hive to protect their honey and their eggs, uh, and they fall and land on this white board here. And all you have to do is pull it out. It's an easy way to manage uh, pests that are coming into your hive. And it's an easy way to uh, double check uh, the health of your bees as well. I have to show you how stinking adorable she is in this little hat. Ellie, Ellie, hey, can you say hi? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Good girl. Do you like the hat? Uh -uh. Yeah, you do. <laughs> okay, so right under uh, the mesh baseboard, is all of the wood that you're going to use to put your frames together. I've already done this once with a different hive, so I totally know what to expect for that. And these right here are the Flow Hive um, frames themselves. So this, this is what creates the magic. This is what makes the Flow Hive separate from any other hive 
that there is. Um, I have seen online some imitation flow hives that look kind of similar. Hi, baby! <laughs> that are offered at a lower price point, but I didn't want to risk it and get uh, crappy plastic parts that weren't going to do the job. And I know that this works. Uh, there are lots of reviews online about this, and I cannot wait to put this baby together. So, inside of <laughs> of the box here are the outside pieces to the boxes themselves and it looks like part of them are already stained but I may have to paint or treat the outside of the wood uh, which I had planned on doing anyway oh my goodness here let me help you oh you're stuck oh my goodness you're stuck yeah, there we go. Is that better? Yeah, yeah. Oh, your arm is stuck. I got it. Yeah, no, no, no. Do you want to put it back on? Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Let's put it back on you. <laughs> is that better? Yeah. Wee. Wee. That's what you wanted, huh? Wee. Wee. <laughs> Okay. Oh, we. Oui. I'm glad you're happy. 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 I'm so glad you're happy. Are you happy? Happy. Happy. Good. So another reason that uh, put uh, sets this hive apart from all of the other hives is the fact that this one has. A, um, a window on the inside that you can open and view the work that the bees are doing without having to open up the top board of the hive. Now, I really, really loved um, the option that this gave us because that way I can take the kids down there and we can observe the hive and the life of the bees without having to open the hive itself. <laughs> and this will be a fantastic homeschooling opportunity for us. So this is a plastic window. Once you peel the cover off of this, I'll pop this um, plastic band off of here and show you guys a little bit more once we actually put it together. But it's pretty amazing. If you haven't seen them in action, uh, stay tuned and I will show you guys what this looks like after it's all put together. Do you love it? Are you excited? Are you happy? <laughs> Good girl. Okay, since I'm doing this one-handed, um, it's taking me a little while to unbox everything, but I want to show you piece by piece what this looks like. This is the Flow Hive frame itself. It is held together by these wires right here, and <laughs> it has... Uh, some drawn out plastic comb on the inside. So all the bees have to do is fill in these little slots that you see right here that are kind of broken uh, with their own wax. And then they start to fill in the uh, little combs itself with honey. Um, once they cap everything off with wax, that means that it's okay hold on ellie that it's ready to harvest this is what the back side of the hive will look like with three frames uh in the center and then one individual frame on this far side and another one on this far side that you can pull out and cut for uh honey that's still in the comb um, this is for liquid honey that will come out all you have to do is turn a metal key. You actually pop this little piece out of here. I'm not gonna do it now because it's balancing on some cardboard, but you pop this piece out, you slip a key on the inside, you turn the key, and when you turn the key, it cracks open the comb sections here. So it doesn't damage any bees. Everything is capped off with wax. 
all it does is crack open the wax so the honey can then drip down the frame into this section here and it'll come out of this section here. So what you do is you have a little glass jar or a plastic jar, whatever you want to use to store your honey in. Um, and they provide you with a uh, plastic tube that you stick down on the inside of... They provide you with a plastic tube that you stick inside here and the honey will then drip out of the comb hive and into your jar. It's as easy as that. When your jar is full, you uh, or when the comb is empty, you put your key back on the inside, you turn it in the opposite direction, it closes all of the comb here that you just cracked open so the bees can then begin to um, refill those comb areas and rebuild the wax that was just cracked open so you could get your honey. Okay, here we go. This is all of the wood needed to create the signature roof for Flow Hive, which will end up looking like this piece right here. And these are the box pieces, the bottom piece, the frame piece, the queen excluder right here, the Flow Hive frames, <laughs> the outside of more boxes, and all of the nails and screws. So this is what comes together in that one box. And I apologize for all the noise behind me. This is what happens when you have kids. I've got Tinkerbell on the TV for the little one who loves Tinkerbell. And then we are gonna get started on this puppy. I'm gonna time myself to let you know how long it took me to put it together. Uh, and I will let you know how everything goes.